hope I get it right. I own the U.S. dollar. I hope I have enough sense to get out of time. What are the indicators that a guy like Jim Rogers is looking for so he can make the decision to pull the trigger and move it out? That's what I want to know. So please tell me in the comments section why guys like Jim Rogers are still holding on to dollars. Is he planning to time it just right? In 2020, September, everything tanked at the same time. The stock market went down, gold prices went down, Bitcoin prices went down. And the answer that most people posited was that the dollar is strong right now. Hi guys, it's Gene here. The question is, what does a strong dollar mean? And in particular, what does it mean in relation to the prices of precious metal and cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin? This is for my kids, my nieces and nephews, my friends and family, people closest to me that I care the most about. I'm not an expert on any of this subject matter. This is for entertainment purposes only. Because everybody thought everything was going to the roof. Gold was going to go to 2000 and then the 5000 Silver was going to go to 50 Bitcoin is going to go to 20000 And the answer was that the dollar is strong right now. And because because the dollar is strong, it's driving down the prices of gold and silver. So I wanted to understand how that works. So I typed in, what does strong dollar mean? This is the balance. This is a guy named Ken Little. He says, strong dollar means the U.S. currency buys more of a foreign country's stuff. And weak dollar means it buys less of a foreign country's stuff. Strong dollar is good for electronics consumers and international travelers. But U.S. goods and services cost more on the, inter on the global marketplace which places them at a disadvantage it causes manufacturers to move their plants to foreign countries so that they can remain competitive and it means jobs lost in the United States so in short strong dollar can mean jobs lost in the United States weak dollar means that the goods and services that the US economy produces are more competitive on the global scale, which is good for U.S. jobs. So weak dollar can save U.S. jobs. Problem is, currency cl conflicts lead to trade wars. Trade wars are counterproductive. But trade wars happen, why? Because politicians are more concerned with what plays well with the home crowd and less concerned about what things like trade wars can mean for the health of the overall economy. Nothing surprising about any of this. That's a little background, but what I'm really wanting to know is how it affects precious metals and cri cryptocurrency prices. I typed in strong dollar gold price. All right, here's Yahoo. Gold should be trading higher on safe haven demand, but it's kind of a repeat back like in the spring when the market sell-off comes market participants have been selling assets off across the board so that's why we don't see parallel or uh, inverse action right let's click on this just for fun let's not get into gold and silver and prices and stuff let's talk about big picture basically this is a yahoo article that says Stuff like uncertainty over more fiscal st stimulus, strong dollar, lead to uncertainty, and it makes people go to cash. Basically, people liquidate not just stocks, but also precious metals and cryptocurrencies because they get scared. Most everybody says this is short term. Now, on October 1st, day before yesterday, the dollar gets a little bit weaker and gold futures start to move up. So you can't look at this in day-to-day -day terms. Weak dollar, strong dollar, gold prices. I think you have to look at this in terms of trends. And I think long term, people start to realize that holding their dollars is not a good idea. They flood the market with more dollars and the purchasing power of the dollars that normal folks like you and I are holding becomes diminished. It's a tax on poor people tax on the middle class. The tax on people that don't have as many dollars to absorb it and they don't have their assets spread out across real estate and international business and companies and different, I guess for want of a better term, investment instruments. So yes, it's a tax. It's a terrible tax, but it's politically expedient. Some people say it's modern monetary theory and they say it's fine because every few years you just reset the, the currency. But I, it, it's, it's basically a war economy because the only way to reset the currency is to have a war. I, I don't know how many currency resets there have ever been without a war. It means part of the equation. Strong dollar can cause people to be less interested in precious metals and cryptocurrencies. Fundamentally, 
over the mid to long term, I think you can expect that the purchasing power of the dollar to diminish relatively steadily. And over time, getting your money out of the dollar and into something else is probably the right thing to do. However, however, Jim Rogers, he's taking his sweet time. I just heard him say the other day. Uh, I hope I get it right. I own the U.S. dollar. I hope I have enough sense to get out of time. But... He's been predicting the end of dollar dominance, and he's been saying something's going to replace the U.S. dollar. He says, I'm still holding on to dollars. I hope I get rid of them in time. But I think he's looking for some other indicator than the mere pumping of dollars into the economy. And I don't know what indicator he's looking for, and I'd like to know where his head is at with that. You know, the United States is the largest debtor nation in the world by many factors, and we keep adding staggering amounts of money to our debt. This has always ended badly. I mean, it's not just the U.S., the, Jap the Japanese, oh my gosh, those guys. The head of the Bank of Japan goes to work every morning early, cranks up the printing presses, prints as fast as he can. He wants to print unlimited, that's his word, unlimited amounts of money and buy stocks and bonds and ETFs. I mean, this is going to end very, very badly when it ends. So really, folks, when it comes to holding on to your dollars until the last minute, I mean, if the dollar is still strong one month, weak the next, and there's a lot of volatility and the prices of precious metals and cryptocurrencies haven't gone parabolic, as they say, then what are the in indicators that a guy like Jim Rogers is looking for? And he's been saying for years that he's going to lose that status. It's going to cease to be a safe haven, but he's holding on to it till the last minute. What are the what is he looking for? So he can make the decision, pull the trigger and move it out. That's what I want to know. So please tell me in the comments section why guys like Jim Rogers are still holding on to dollars. The guy who's been saying the dollar is going to crash. What's he looking for? Is he planning to time it just right? That's what I want to know from you guys in the comments section. And what are your predictions for the dollar? Oh, more people are here. Wow. Thanks.